Hello and welcome back to Nails by Sora. Hope you are all doing well. Um, I'm just getting, uh, why did I put that away? I'm just getting my nail stands ready because I'm going to be do, playing with hair. Now I'm going to be playing with spider gel. One of my followers uh, requested a tutorial or a video about spider gel and I've used it before. I think the last time I actually used it was last Halloween. And um, haven't really played with it since. Haven't really gotten the hang of it. So I figured we could play with it together. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do five nails or three nails. Don't really have any ideas really as to what I'm going to do. I figured I'd just play with it and see what happens and take you along for the ride. So as usual, I'm going to be using my extra long coffin tips and I'm just setting them up on the stand. I figured you'd never actually seen me do this step before, so I might as well do it. Um, I do use the gummy tack or the blue tack or whatever you want to call it, some kind of tack. And I find it works reasonably well. Uh, the only trouble I have with it usually is if I'm trying to file the nail afterwards. Um, I've seen people use the glue tabs that you'd use for press-ons. I've never really tried it before, but you'll have to let me know your experience, what you use, how well it works, what you prefer, and um, maybe I'll have to try something else. But so I've got my nail stands all set up um, and I've got a buttload, a buttload of spider gels. And I have a feeling not all of these are open. So I'm going to put on some gloves because the foil is quite difficult to remove. And I don't want to get it all over my hands. I've already got black food coloring all over my thumbs from work today. So, um... Yeah, let's see which colors we have open, which ones we don't, which ones we want to play with. And um, I think I want to try to do a floral design because I've seen people, um, other content creators, use spider gel to create abstract floral designs. Of course, you get the standard just, you know, wrapping it around the nail with an abstract linear design. Um, so we'll see. I'll play around with it. I'm not sure what color... I Hello? Yes, baby. Um, I'm not sure what color I want to do for the background. I'm not sure what I want to use to remove the foil. I'm not sure about a lot of things today, apparently. I hear that Mercury is in retrograde. How is that working for you all? I think I'm losing my mind. So I removed the foil and there's still a plastic layer over it. That's perfect. Hello. So spider gel is quite stringy. That's the point of it. It will cling to any and all surfaces, as you can see. But it allows you, oh, let's not get it all in the rest of, I think I will leave the rest of it on. Um, it allows you to create really cool designs. So I'm going to go through and remove the rest of these. I think this one's actually open. Ooh, look at that stringiness. Yeah, that one's open. So we can put that aside. And these I just got on Amazon. There's lots of different brands that you can choose from. That one's open, yay for me. Let me get a wipe because I don't want to pull other color into this container that's very pretty that would be nice for Valentine's Day which is quite a while away, so we won't worry about that right now. White is open. 
gold is, I think gold is open. Yes, gold is open. This deeper bluish red is open. So you can see quite how quite how quite quite how uh, thick it is. You can literally turn it upside down, and it's it will eventually pour out, but it'll take a while. So you don't have to be quite so careful with it. You just have to be aware that it it can be quite messy to actually use it. And um, if I can give you any advice, I would say just. Go slowly with it. You don't have to wave your um, implement all over the place. Just be specific with it. And I will explain what I mean when we get to actually using it on the nails. That is pretty. I may have to do a black and silver nail. Oh, well, that one came off quite easily. Black is open. And lastly, we've got blue, which is open. Very nice, very nice, okay. So I'm going to put these all back. I'm going to decide what colors I want to use. I'm going to paint the nails a background color and I will be back soon. All right, so I've got three nails set up for now and we're just starting off with basic white and black. And I'm going to take one of the black nails and I'm going to use the white spider gel. So just to show you the consistency and how you would go about using it for a basic application. So I'm just using a dotting tool. And as you can see, it's quite stringy. It pulls, it stays attached. You have to really work to get it off of the implement. So depending upon the size of the tool that you use, you will get a different amount. So let me grab, I got rid of my wipe. So I'm gonna grab another wipe. Just a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to clean that off. And I'm going to move on to a different tool. Maybe a silicone tool. And you can see that it grabs a lot more. More surface area, depending upon the design that you wanna do. You can pull a thick line followed by a thin line. You can really play around and see what kind of designs you can create. But I'm gonna start off with just maybe a little bit larger of a, uh, the dotting tool and I'm just going to pull it and drag it across the nail back and forth picking up a little bit more as I go. And you can already kind of see, well, they're really abstract petals, but they kind of look like petals. And I'm just going back in and I'm pulling the string that's hanging off the other side which is going to drag more product as you go. Now, obviously, if you're working on a client, you can't go over and under their hand unless you wanna make 
a really big mess because you can see it's going underneath the um, the tip and onto the stand. I wouldn't want to cure it like that. I'm going to wipe it before it goes into the lamp, but doing it on a tip really gives you more freedom to play around and create designs without the worry of getting it on your clients. Ow, my neck just cracked. <laughs> or your um, your uh, your client's skin or yourself. So you can layer different colors, of course, like you can anything else. You don't necessarily have to cure this first. You can go in with, say, your silver. But what I was saying before, that you have to be deliberate with it, don't have it all the way over here and drag it across your workspace. And don't use grand motions. You want to, you know, just go slow, work with it. Go back and forth, pick up another piece, go back, you know, forward, back. Can't really see it over the white, unfortunately, but you can kind of see it over the black. And I'll use it as a solo design on uh, one of the other nails. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to wipe the underside of the nail stand. And then I'm gonna put it in the lamp. Regular cure time, 60 seconds, and then we'll see what it looks like. Well, we already saw what it looked like. Okay, moving on to the next nail, what I'm going to do is I'm going to waffle back and forth. I'm going to use one of my other tips to do a thicker line. So I'm going to have the tip close to the jar and I'm just going to pull it up the nail. And that actually didn't have the effect that I thought it was going to have. Let's try again. Okay. So there we go. Thicker line, not necessarily a straight line and multiple li lines weaving over top as I went back and forth. But you can see already that you can create different designs with it. You just want to make sure that it's touching anywhere that you want. Anytime that you want to switch directions and you want to keep it attached to the nail, make sure you touch down. So for instance, if I'm going to go all the way up the nail and then I want to pull back, I need to make sure it makes contact to the top edge of the nail before I go in a different direction. I'm going to pick up some more go back in the other direction, make sure it touches, and then go back in the other direction. Now, if I wanted to overlay a color on top of it, I would take another implement or the same implement and just follow the lines that I did before, making sure that I touch where I want it to break off. And then eventually it, it'll run out and it'll just break off on its own once it's too thin to actually remain contact, remain in contact. All right, so I'm going to cure that. All right, so now that we've done abstract designs, let's see if we can actually create an actual design. So like I said, my 
experience, experience with spider gel is limited. So I am just going to see if I can maybe create butterfly wings. So I'm gonna pick up some of the gel and I'm using the black and I'm going to go up this way. Well, that didn't do anything. <sighs> Trying to figure it out in my head. It's very Rorschach. Well, it's something. I don't think it's a butterfly, but I'm gonna cure it anyway, cause it's interesting. All right, so I cheated and I watched a video. I don't know if that's necessarily cheating. I mean, you're watching a video right now. And what the, I watched a Born Pretty video and I'm watching one by Sarita M. Nails. And she actually used, they both used a brush. So they took some out of the pot, make sure, made sure that it's separated. And then they put a dot in the middle of the nail and then drew outward. Now, every time you put down in the center, you pick up more gel. Now, my brush is a little frayed, so I'm getting multiple lines from each bristle. But I think it's working nonetheless. Trying to create the antennae, antennae. It always looks so much easier in the video. All right, well, let's see if we can accent that a little bit with some glitter. What glitter do I want to use? That's the question. Uh, maybe... Let's see. Under pressure? Under pressure. Actually, I'm gonna cure it first. Let's do that, shall we?
So I do want to tr add in the body of the butterfly because it should be able to have its body if I can get it to detach from the pot. Sometimes you just have to rip it, rip it good. Actually, I think I'm gonna try another one down in the corner because why not? All right, so these are the spider gel nails. I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you did too. Definitely learned a lot. Obviously, as I said, I haven't used them much before, if at all. And it's definitely a learning experience for me. I hope you took something away from this video. If you have any questions or would like to see a follow-up, uh, we can play with some more colors and see what other designs we can come up with. Let me know in the comment section below. I will link the products that I used in the description box below, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much, and please keep the comments coming, the suggestions, so that I can keep coming up with content for you, and we'll just keep building the channel together. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell.